Hello and welcome. Um, this is a tutorial based research channel for those of you who don't know. Um, and basically I show you um, the research in action, uh, the results and uh, basically the channel is here to show you how you can um, find these uh, things for yourself. So this is a bit of a carry on from um, the video which I hope you've already seen uh, in regards to um, the cameras and stuff that they use and just some discrepancies between the photographs and things. So uh, I found a few more things. Um, I may be right, I may be wrong, but uh, it doesn't make uh, any sense to me. So um, I think I briefly showed you uh, what um, I was going to be working on. So like this, this is the image that I'm going to be working on today um, and in regards to the instruments 610 millimeter lunar orbiter camera um, I can't quite remember but I believe they had all sorts of uh, they had 70 mil 35 mil um, yeah and the the one that we were uh, talking about mainly was the um, the uh, the German spy camera, which they which they use, which was uh, seventy mil, um, and they uh, it's just a bit of an add on. Um, the ASA of the film was sixty four, I think, which means um, you can get a lot of detail from that, which I found quite surprising because. Um, um, because of the the light issues that they have, so yeah, there we go. So th this is the image in question, um, and if you're new to the channel, um, I do suggest um, with some of the image, well, w with a lot of the images, um, basically uh, you have to get used to them. You have to sort of get in tune with them. You have to give it a few minutes just to uh, adjust to the image, and and I'll show you what I mean. So. Anyway, just a, a couple more things. Um, this is a different image. Just ignore the lines at the moment. Um, but I believe um, that it is the image we're looking at, which was this one, is, um, let's have a look at that, this image. Um, so just check out the shadows here and stuff. Um, I may or may on may not be uh, totally right with this, but um, things aren't marrying up for me at all. Um, and the reason the reason we're doing this is to try and understand how the makeup of these these photographs and um, what's going on with them, uh, what's been done to them in relation to pulling the the uh, information out of the images. So, I'm going to have a look at this one. Now, I think this is from the Lunar Orbiter Gallery or March to the Moon. I can't quite remember. It's, um, it's 2162. I can't remember if it's the Lunar Orbiter or Moon. I think it is. Um, anyway, you have to bear with me. This stuff gets so confusing. Um, and it's it's time as well. Really trying to uh, get the videos out there in, in time wise and doing the work on them is is just insane. Um, if you haven't seen any of the other videos, and go and have a look, and this will all this will be very uh, will be very um, relevant. So just take a look at the the shadows and stuff um, in relation to this so if I just whip back there it's very very familiar and we did I did look at this one and showed you um, explained some of the um, pre-editing that had been done on this which is totally out of out of sync with the the makeup of the the you know the general image anyway so 
what was I going to show you? Okay, so I believe this is another crop of the same image. And there was something we were looking at. Um, I'll try and be as brief as possible. Um, just some things which uh, stuck out to me. So you can see I've got the, the film uh, and note the numbers as well. I think this is 9, 18, 9, 17. So we've got numbers on the film here. And you'll notice there's lots and lots of vertical lines. Um, and if you remember rightly how they put the, the images together, they originally put the images together. Um, you can see that none of these lines marry up with the where the join would be in the film and on the vertical lines nothing marries up with where the film is supposed to be running you can see that it's equal all the way through let's get a little bit closer and you can see that the the actual supposed join lines don't marry up with the, the joins in the film. If we go to the top, you can't really tell here, there's so many lines. But as you can see with the, the vertical lines, they don't marry up with the films. And that would, you know, if, if, if they're going to repeat like that, then you'd think it would be, you know, a defect in the in the camera or the roll or how it's been processed, but nothing marries up. Okay. Okay, so we did take a look at this, and if you haven't seen the vid, go and go and check it out. Um, the Another thing as well, which I may or may not be right, if these are crops of each other, the, the size of the film changes as well. Um, and the numbers are different as well. This is 870, 871. Um, so, yeah. It's not making a lot of sense. If it is the same photograph. Um, Another thing as well in relation to the vertical lines all being totally in line. So if we look at the where the film starts on the image down here. Oh, let's just do that. Video ambience. Um, So you can see where it starts here. And as we move to the top, it's completely out of line. So if these vertical lines were anything to do with the film, um, they would move in the same direction as the film on the other side. So that, that's another thing. Uh, and just to whet your appetite, I was looking at into this image earlier, which I have blown up. Um, how to do that and everything is explained in some of the tutorials. Um, started finding all these strange things. Um, and if you're new to the channel, um, this won't really make any sense to you. Um, at the moment. So if I blow that up a little bit more. There's definitely something going on in this really strange dark area. I'm going to do a lot more work on this image. Uh, I think I pointed it out in the in the uh, the camera video um, these areas here 
which look like a, like a grid type sort of layout and there's this area here as well so I will be investigating that at some point oh and this is something you'll get used to with my videos there's just so much I want to show you um, so try not to jump through videos too much I know they're long but you know this is if you want to know about this stuff then so there's this stuff hidden as well um, it's very mechanical looking um, and I can guarantee you this is all over the place but I will show you the one that I've been working on and um, we'll take it from there so very interesting stuff nothing seems to marry up um, and if this is a different film and it's a close-up of um, I don't I don't know if they're just orbiting pictures then it's going to have the same imagine this is orbiting it's going to have a constant field of view and uh, the film size wouldn't change unless it was a different different film but I mean trying to sort this stuff out is quite um, quite difficult it's a bit of a minefield um, I find it quite hard there's so so much to uh, to take in and, and find out um, so okie doke right so this is the image in question now this has got some um, lines on it which will make sense to you in a minute um, now I think I think I spoke about this in the in the camera video um, how well these lines didn't marry up with the the um, the film strips down the side or whatever but I just want to point these out at the moment um, these like I've put the lines below where the supposed seam lines are so this is the supposed seam line see it running through through here and you can start seeing some odd things happening here through here here's a vertical line as well so you can see this running through here I'll just show you another line that's the same thing going on here and the same down here now if you're new to the channel I don't tend to give you uh, my full what I really think is going on because I the aim of the channel is to get you guys to start doing this research yourself because it's the only way you can clarify anything properly for yourself um, so I I leave it very much up to you um, but in the previous video we were talking about um, like travel tubes lines um, going from one area to another now it is my belief in this photograph which I'm showing you in relation to the other ones because and notice if we just quickly go back to this one where it's had the this obviously overlaid 
um, I suppose they're trying to make the film look uh, damaged. Yeah. What I think these seam lines are, where they've put the seam lines in relation to where it doesn't marry up with the film, um, is to try and mask um, these uh, connecting lines, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, they're just they're trying to hide them with um, you know the the join lines of the the film on here unfortunately we can't so if I go these three lines here in relation sorry if this is getting a bit confusing in relation to um, this image so those three lines and these three lines okay right so let's have a look at this Okay, so if you're unfamiliar with the site, um, the processes will go, I go through um, and my aim um, is to pull as much information out of the image as I possibly can. Um, now what that does to the image, uh, it can make it very, very confusing. Um, but I want all the detail out and what I did um, uh, explain was that and I will be showing more I'm going to show you a, a series of um, photographs of the same image um, just with different levels of enhancement so you can start getting to grips with it because when you look at these images they can be very very confusing so this has been blown up and I just want to show you it close up um, and it looks reasonably pixelated now the pixels don't start till here this size but the overall makeup of the image looks very sort of cuboid type sort of thing and I just think that's a it's been processed so many times that um, that is what it is looking like but it's also very similar to the images from Venus which um, were uh, uh, radar images um, but who knows I mean it's, it could literally just be the amount of uh, mucking around with the image that has been that has been done right so, do excuse, I'm just trying to remember everything um, so we can have a look. So, let's start on one of these lines which have been made to look like the join in the film. So, what I do suggest always is to pause and uh, just take your time and... Uh, try and um, get used to the image um, so what I will say about this is these joining lines look like uh, connecting um, platforms tubes um, covered in large structures um, with more structures um, moving off into different areas and it is dense it is densely packed um, so this could take you a while to get used to um, but this is part of this research you have to look um, through the masking 
because the, the ultimately you know we're not supposed to be looking at this stuff um, so I will do a little bit of work on this so hopefully that will and that's one of the reasons I do it so it gives you time to get in tune with what I'm looking at and what we're revealing as well so it's not easy it's not 4k it, it doesn't work like that um, but what I try and do is get as much information as I possibly can get out well and within the constraints of my computer as well that's all explained in other videos and things if you want to get started with this so this is part of one of those lines and you can see where it deviates here goes up and across um, and moving into an area here with um, so there is an element of perspective with this so you're going to see fronts, um, sides, tops of um, these uh, structures. So what happened there? That's not working. I think I'm on the wrong layer. There you go. I will do. Um, I think oh, I'm not sure if I have or not. Um, a quick vid on using layers and sort of thing so um, okay just to demonstrate that the reason why I have done this um, is so you can get a, a comparison so you can see what the uh, so briefly sorry to muck you around but if we go to the same area this is how and it's not a bad image actually um, that they present you with um, so you can't really see anything apart from a bunch of pixelated tones really there's a few bits that stick out here and there um, but that's another thing you'll get used to um, viewing these images so back to the same same place um, the processes I go through um, are predominantly the same but each image is different so you, you just apply more or less of the same thing um, in the image um, and see what it likes best basically um, so Now, different people work different ways but I like to get right into the image um, to pull out as much detail as I can um, so let's just do this okay so I've got the original underneath the image I've been working on not a huge amount of difference going on there right and like I always say as well you can you can keep going on these images um, and with the tools of the, the, the dodge and burn tools um, you because you're working in three different tonal grades um, here shadows midtones highlights you can um, push and pull them individually make them darker or lighter individually to suit and you can slowly bring out more detail but it's a long process um, 
depending on the images because the image all the images are different um, some are harder than the others right this is a hard image to work on it's taken me quite a while so I'll try and move through this smoothly I'll tell you what I'll do I'll um let's have a I mean, the crazy thing about this is it's it's not they're not isolated anomalies. I mean, they cover the whole surface. So remember the perspective. There's a few people that have um, subscribed to the channel and have started doing this themselves um, with brilliant results. Um, yeah, please like the video. Um, this just isn't getting out there. People aren't seeing it. There's only a few of us. And uh, these... Uh, should be available to everyone. So that's another masked seam line. We've got one here, we've got one here. Like I say, just pause, take it in. Give yourself time to uh, adjust. This is what came up from the darkness. Um, we've spoken about uh, this, especially on, um, I think it was Pluto we were looking at. How literally um, you find a lot of information hidden in dark areas. Um, and a lot of these areas are just completely blocked out. Um, but if you check the edges, they quite uh, foolishly, shall we say, miss the edges. So you get um, the remnants of what might be uh, inside the craters or the dark areas. Just this little area here. I'll have a closer look. This area here. See you losing it. But it takes a while to get back. In focus more or less. I mean this stuff is all mucked around with out of focus. So even if this was uh, the moon surface, it's been through so many processes, um, this wouldn't make any sense to you know anyone, if you think it, about it logically, um, of being, being rocks. You can see the design behind it. purposeful design 
there are squares yes because we're we're talking about um low quality could be pixel pixel eight but i've showed you the level of pixels here um so this is the image this is the information on the image it's like areas like that probably means very little when you look at it like that I think one of the um, subscribers has done, he's uploaded a video of this very same, very same map and it's great, it's really good. Um, so go and check it out, it's um, James White. Um, you know, and ask him about this stuff. Maybe that's a better level. Okay, that's the bottom bit. So you can see the areas built up around. like um, multi-level um, constructions um, everything's connected to everything I don't know what is going on here. I 
but it's very big. So if you're looking at this uh, sort of thing for the first time, out of curiosity, um, the, uh, the community that is involved in this sort of research is, uh, and has been for a very long time, um, the conclusion is, is uh, not if the moon is occupied um, it's who is occupying it and why is it such a secret look at this stuff Some areas are better than others uh, to actually work on, um, but you find that with a lot of a lot of these images. We have to remind ourselves as well that um, with the uh, instruments they use to take the photographs. Um, it's written. Um, you can you can find out the information. The uh, oh, I had an image to show you. It's um, which is another thing which I'll get into more as well. Um, it was taken in 1946 from a V2 um, rocket, which, um, as we know, was uh, a German. Second World War weapon. 1946, like I mentioned, with the you know the split of the um, German scientists between Russia and the US, um, they took yeah some uh, photographs of the. The Earth in 1946, and it's not half bad. Um, so don't be under the uh, illusion that just because these images are old, this is 1962. Just because they're old, don't think that they uh, weren't capable of getting um, highly detailed images of anything, um, because they could. Simple as that. I think the um, the one this was taken with, 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 which was that German camera, the 70 mil film. Um, from a few hundred miles, two, three hundred miles high, it could take you know detailed images down to three feet or something. And I think some of the, um, there's a Geostat or the 7, Landstat 7 
um, satellites they use today can take it down to I don't know it's about 15 inches or something like that so don't give yourself the excuse that just because these images are old that they weren't highly detailed because uh, they were extremely And as always, um, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, if you don't, if you can't get your head around it and stuff and thing, this channel is here to show you how you can go and find the answers for yourself. It's the best way to do it. Go and check out with the about the cameras. Um, it's all there. The information is there. So basically, I'm just going to move through the image like this. Um, so you can get a view of the whole the whole thing. Um, and it gives you time as well to adjust to it. You have to. But like I showed you, um, unless you're using um, some imaging software, you're you won't be able to see anything, and and that's that's the way it works. Some things you can, you know, bits and bobs here and there. But if you really want to check this stuff out. Then you need to do it uh, this. Um, software I'm using is license free, it's totally free you can make donations however you fancy um, but with a little bit of patience and the instructions of the channel then uh, you can do this yourself Now, just quickly going back to uh, this image with the all this, um, as you probably noticed here, I've had to do a lot of work on this um, to get anything out. I'm sort of reluctant to spend time on that because it's so so. Um, detailed and uh, densely um, full of structures um, it might bother you a bit I don't mean that in a condescending way or anything um, I'll just show you this. See if we can pop some things here. And you'll start noticing. See, so what have I been calling? I've been calling it. Um, <clears throat> It's like a visual compression. So when you're at a certain level, getting all the little details out you can, you're not going to really be able to see what you're looking at. It's only when you zoom back out that you'll get that visual compression. So at this level on my screen, I can see what's going on here.
Okay, so... It's clearly not a pile of rocks. And now the color changes there is from the tools that I use um, and the extent I have to use them and that was in the area I was talking about which had been covered up with the, the sort of light streaks you see this stuff forming now Focusing on one area. And seeing what you're uh, looking at. Which is obviously isn't a pile of rocks. You'll start noticing that it's everywhere. Pixel compression anomalies and stuff just simply do not do this over the whole picture. It doesn't work like that. Which way were we going? I think we were going this way, weren't we? Oh yeah, so I'm... What amazes me as well, I was looking at um, uh, science institutes, um, science universities across the world and the amount of them that there are and the amount of them that um, deal with imagery um, like the space um, industry uses a lot of these colleges um, institutes to develop the um, technology that they use like imagery and etc etc et um, and there are hundreds of them and um, It just amazes me that no one is simply looking. I mean, because this is very simple at the end of the day. Um, and no one's seeing anything. Or if they are, then they're just keeping their mouth shut. Um, it's disgusting. So we're just going to have a look along the uh, horizon. Oh, 
or the uh, it's got another name, isn't it? But I'm not not too up with my uh, technical terms. But pause and have a look. Don't look at this area as well. This area here, if we go and have a look at uh, this one quickly, I think I may have pointed it out in the other video as well how this looks very wrong. But like I say, it's something you'll get used to. Um, let me go back to here. Um, and it was other stuff I was talking about how um, ridge lines and crater edges and stuff are not as they appear, They're either cut out or masked out or, or tonally adjusted so you can't see what's going on. Now you can see this is the line, that area of the, the crater. And if you do enough work on it, it's actually just a continuation of what's going on or what's in it is that the the famous tower of babel or whatever whatever they call it On the other photographs, I'll be looking at these areas as well, but this looks very odd. Like I say, pause it, check it out, check all this stuff out coming through here. Another thing I talk about as well is like the uh, similarities with these uh, structures. There seems to be a general um, similar design with all this stuff. moons and planets see how it's all structured now
So I've probably missed a lot out here. Um, let's just have a quick look. See if I can find anything. Um, and obviously the areas which are a bit more shiny are the areas which have been worked on a lot more so there's everything in between as well see the shadows the height of stuff it seems to be uh, lots of towers or spires or however you would like to interpret them. Um, is this sticking up and that is the top? This here, the shadow. There's one sticking up here. So this is how dense the construction is. things sticking up there Okay. Uh, if you enjoyed this um, and you want to see more of this uh, map, just let us know. Um, as usual, there's just so much to show you. Um, it's crazy. Uh, if you want to get into it, then uh, this is a photo journal site where you can download the images. I think these images were from... The Apollo image archive which will probably send you to the march to the moon so I think they're the same um, and there's the lunar orbiter photo gallery um, lots to choose from so as always please like um, and subscribe if, if you're new if, if you want to know what's going on give it a blast yourself um, and uh, thanks a lot. And I'll uh, see you on the next vid. Cheers, guys.